Now, again to the Muslims. But this can again be divided into two parts, A. And that is regarding shirk and the pageant background. After all, all the Muslims, you know, in that society, they belong to and their ancestors were the worshippers of idols, etc., etc. So maybe there is some, some of those past influences and traditions present in some of them. If not all of them, in some of them there can be some traces, some, you know, some effect of that background. So here also we find in a very brief passage, it appears to be as if we are reading some Makki ayat, this, this portion. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik aliman yasha. First of all, and this ayah, these words are appearing for the second time now in this very surah. Allah Ta'ala is never going to pardon and forgive this sin of shirk that something or somebody be associated with him as a partner or as equal. This is the biggest sin, biggest crime, unpardonable. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bi. Whatever is lesser and smaller than this, it can be hoped that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will condone it. But it is not an open license that you go on doing everything else except shirk and it is licensed to you and it is ensured for you that Allah will forgive it. No, but, but it can be hoped. Not for all. For whomsoever he wills, he pleases. وَمَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ ضَلَالًا بَعِيدًا And verily, who commits shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, associates anything or anybody with him as partner or equal, well, he has gone astray and he has gone very far off, deviated very far off from the right path. إِنْ يَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونَهِ إِلَّا إِنَاسَ Now that was the shirk of the pageant Arabs. They, you know, had female deities, their goddesses, Laat, female, Muannas, Uzza, Uzza is the feminine of Al-Aziz, Al-Uzza, Al-Aziz, Al-Akbar, Al-Kubra, in the same way, Al-Aziz, Al-Uzza, Laat, Manat, Uzza, these were the female deities. In yaduna min dunahi illa inasa, they are not praying to or worshipping at Besides Allah, but female deities, their goddesses. This is the only apparently that they are calling and praying, you know, and invoking Laat or Manat or Uzza. Actually, they are calling and praying to Shaitan. The Shaitan who is the rebel against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually, it is Shaitan who is being addressed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had cursed him. وَقَالَ لَا تَخِذَنَّ مِنْ عِبَادِكَ نَصِيبًا مَفْرُوضًا And he also had, had said it in a challenging mood. Oh Allah, I shall prove to you and I shall take a share from your, these creatures, your men, these human beings, نَصِيبًا مَفْرُوضًا A part, a portion which is appointed and, and absolutely clear. I will get them. وَلَا أُضِلَّنَّهُمْ I will lead them astray. I will engage them in vain hopes, in wishful thinking. Oh, Allah is bountiful. He will forgive. So you follow Lana. We will be pardoned. The fire of hell will not be able to touch us, except for only a few days. These are the Amani. لَأُضِلَّنَّهُمْ وَلَأُمَنِّيَنَّهُمْ وَلَأَمُرَنَّهُمْ فَلَيُبَتِّكُنَّ آزَانَ الْعَابًا I shall command them and they will slit the cattle's ears. Why? Because when some, you know, cow or something else, some, some camel, that was fixed, that was given to some, some idol in the name of idol set free, they due to slit their ears as a sign that this is now a sacred thing. Nobody touch to touch to them. Just we find in Hindu society also, even today, we find that the cattle are, you know, roaming. Nobody can stop them because they have been donated to in the name of some, you know, devata and some god, etc., etc. 
Males imitating females. Well, you are your own. Allah. Allah has made them something else. Allah had made these hair grow on males. We shave it. No, we, we, we want to look like females. This is also a change in the khalq of Allah. This is nature going against nature. Why? The sunnah of the prophets, all the prophets, all the messengers of Allah. And we are imitating this West. Why? This is again, you know, changing. Because the fitra, Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. All these things, you know, fitra is that which was given to us through Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. So this is changing. And unisex dress. Somebody is going, you can't say whether he is a male or she is a female. You can't know. So all these things, you know, they, they belong to this category. And this is going to its climax through this genetical engineering. And whosoever takes Satan as his protector and friend instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh, he is in a great loss, in a manifest loss. He has lost his career, his future. This Satan promises them. Although his promises are false. But you man need him. <coughs> and engages them in vain hopes. In wishful thinking. But whatever the shaitan, the satan is promising to them is nothing but delusion and deception. For all these, the abode is hell. And they will not find any way out of it. Once thrown in it, they will have no escape, no way out of it. And on the contrast, as I told you, wherever there is a mention of the people of the hell, then now people who are going to paradise. As for those who have real belief, real iman, and what's the proof of their real belief? That is the amal salih. Their deeds are good. Sanudkhiluhum jannat in tajri min taatil anhar. Soon we are going to make them enter the gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing. Khalidin afiha abada. And they will abide there. They will live there forever, forever. Wadallah haqqan. A true promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't have, don't harbor any doubts in your mind. It's a promise from Allah. And you know it's a true promise. وَمَنْ أَصْدَقُ بِنَ اللَّهِ قِيلًا Who can be more true in his saying than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself? So have full confidence that if you are fulfilling these two conditions of iman and amal salih, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his promise. And he is أَصْدَقُ قِيلًا